break, at least from a Chinese point of view. So for more on that, Sandra Minetti, Editor-in-Chief of the Hollywood International Filmmaker magazine, is with us there in his home in LA. Good to see you, mate. You know, the minions tried their best to corrupt the youth of China, but the yeah. Beijing government had other ideas, clearly, John. So what exactly, you know, who demanded the change, I guess? Did it come from the, do we know this? Did it come from the Chinese government's censors, or was it the makers of the movie sort of preemptively trying to smooth the way for releasing the Chinese market? Because either possibility is fairly outrageous, but for very different reasons. So here's how it works. Um, the Chinese censors had asked for cuts, as they have done so many times uh, with American movies. Um, just a few dozen American movies are seen in China every year, but it is the world's biggest movie market. Uh, and with movies struggling at the international box office, uh, the distributors, Universal in this case, really need the money. Uh, from the Chinese box office. So they could have said no way, but they said yes. Okay, go and make that cut. And it came in the form of a title card, an addendum, if you like, uh, sort of changing the end of the movie, saying a, uh, a sort, of, sort of happily ever after, Beijing style. Respect authority is the message. Yeah, Hollywood, at least in the past, has done some serious sucking up to ensure access to the Chinese market. You know, um, Transformers, Age of Extinction, ring a bell. But, you know, these days, maybe not so much. If you remember back in 2019, the headline, Top Gun faces ban in China over Bomber Jacket's Taiwanese flag. That was the Taiwanese flag on Tom Cruise's mm -hmm. jacket. Uh, when the movie, though, was released, Top Gun Maverick uh, reversed controversial change from 2019 trailer. The, the Taiwanese flag was back, so too the flag of Japan. Uh, more recently, Sony Pictures said no way to editing out the Statue of Liberty in the blockbuster Spider-Man No Way Home. You and I both know studio executives have no moral compass whatsoever, for the most part. <laughs> They're driven by profit. Does this suggest that maybe you know, that revenue, the revenue that you're talking about that they thought potentially was there in China maybe just isn't quite the pot of money that it was? Top Gun went on to earn more than a billion dollars globally. Yes, but if you look at the box office figures uh, in America uh, this year, they are so way down on before the pandemic. Yes, they're up on last year, but way down on uh, on 2019. Uh, movie theatres are, are closing. Uh, they want to grab the money wherever they can. And so, yes, whereas before they may have been less well disposed to these suggestions of censorship, um, now uh, the first word on their mind is ka -ching! Well, you mentioned the numbers for the US box office, um, and they, they are interesting for this year. For year to date, more than $5 billion, which is a big increase over last year, but not a surprise given that was the year of the pandemic, or a pandemic year. Uh, and it's way down for the same period compared to 2019, which was, to be fair, a blockbuster year, and 2018 as well. And if you look at the big money earners for this year, all of them at the box office being those big special effect movies like Top Gun, except for Minions, I guess. Does that suggest that the future for theatres is, you know, with the blockbuster action CGI movies uh, and streaming, if you like, is for drama, slower, a lot of talking in the movies? Is that where we're heading? No, I think we're heading to the the end of uh, the movies. The, the theatrical experience seems to be doomed. What we're watching here is a slow death. Streaming is the killer. Uh, plus, it's not the fun communal experience it used to be. People seem to have forgotten how to behave since the pandemic. Once they're back in the theatres, and I still go every week, people behave like animals. It's awful. They're all on their phone, they're talking, they're, they're chatting. Some of them are filming the movie. Why would you not prefer to watch a movie at home? Uh, the movie theatres don't have enough staff uh, to police it. You know, it's a, it's not a nice, welcoming environment like it, like it was before. There has to be a major reinvention uh, to save the theatrical movie business. Otherwise, the whole cinematic experience is done for. Time, but I usually go to the movie cinemas that serve meals with a glass of wine. They're usually quite pleasant. I don't know where you're going. Well, you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Appreciate it. Sandra Minetti there in Los Angeles. Good to see you. Take care. Good to see you.